uh, amped up, flying around. Uh, looked like a lot of good effort, uh, a lot of good intent. So it was people competing. That's always encouraging. A couple times it almost seems like uh, they're itching to get the pads on where there's a little bit of contact, but they have to hold back. Are you getting that sense? Oh, yeah. That? It's been uh, it's still a contact sport, so it's their first instinct is to go make collisions, but uh, it'll come shoot Saturday. Richard's first day really kind of getting out there. How does he compare to the Richard Sherman you, you had in Seattle? You know, he's so in tune mentally. I mean, he was talking to me the entire practice about, uh, and, and Coach Halfley about the little indicators that our offense gives and just little things here and there and just talking. And, uh, but he's so into it mentally with regards to football. Uh, athletically, looks the same. I mean, he looks great. Um, and, uh, and shoot, he'll tell you he's rusty, but he's, he'll continue to work, continue to get better. But he's, we're excited to have him, and, and he's, he's really good for the room, and glad he's here. Is that stuff that he relays to the offensive coaches, or do you talk to the offensive coaches about tells that Richard would pick up on? Uh, no, it's just uh, if we did an in-depth study, we'd all have little things here and there. And um, so Sherm's always digging. He's always digging to find uh, find a tell. And that's just the way he works. That's his mind. So uh, this time of year with our offense, we're so geared up to we're, you know, it's about us on defense and fundamentals and preaching effort and attacking the ball and violence and all that. So uh, when it gets to game planning, we'll talk more with uh, scheme and all that. But Sherm and the player, every player, that's what makes him special. He's so locked in all the time uh, because he's so far ahead schematically and fundamentally that he could spend all his time working on offensive identification. And that's a challenge. That's the cool thing about our system is that for every player, once they get to a, a, a spot where they're not thinking about their fundamentals and techniques. They're not thinking about their job and their and the scheme. They they got to do something else, and that something else is watching the offense and learning football. So that way you can, you might have to abort mission, uh, and take a play away that the offense is trying to run. Yesterday, coach said Ruben will begin a lot of these first team reps, considering that he is the starter this year. But being that he won't be here for the first two games of the regular season, how do you guys approach that? As far as you know, getting other players into the, to get those reps, to be prepared for that the first two weeks. As we get closer, we'll address it. Uh, right now, we're uh, we're making sure that everybody gets their work. Um, there's still 14 other games on the schedule, and uh, once we get closer, uh, we'll start to uh, address the two games that he's going to miss. Last year at this time, you were kind of sorting through whether Adrian Colbert was a corner or safety. Obviously, now he's kind of settled into that spot. How much growth did you see from him just in the offseason program as a guy who has finally got a spot where he can kind of settle in? He's um, Colbert for – there's a lot of young guys on this defense, and uh, sky's the limit for a lot of them. And uh, Colbert's made of the right stuff and the right mindset where it's he's not, he's not just a run-and-hit player. He's um, – He's trying to get to the level of, uh, I'm not, I don't want to put him there yet, but the, the, the level of great safeties where they're always thinking about the game. They're always thinking about offense, and they're really trying to figure out what the quarterback is trying to do to them. And um, so for him, he's, he's growing every day. It's not going to stop growing either. Um, every day will be something new. Every day he'll learn something new. But um, for him, we're very excited um, about the direction and the mindset that he's got. Something about his mindset that comes from kind of the hard road that he traveled to get here, being a seventh round pick. Does he have that chip on his shoulder, so to speak? You know, every player's got a story. Every player's got uh, uh, a story that has kind of developed their mindset. And um, his road, I, c I could imagine that that could play a part in it. And I'm sure that it goes even deeper than that. So uh, whatever whatever has happened to him, he's, he's made of the right stuff, and it's done him very well. How was Ruben today, and, and what changes have you noticed since you know this time last year, particularly given that he was able to participate in the offseason program and he seems more healthy than he was? Yeah, he's uh, so first. Obviously, he's he's very comfortable in the scheme. He looks lean, um, looks quick, fast. Uh, he's special. Everybody knows that. Um, and it, again, it's no different than anyone else. He's still this is only his second year, and. Uh, he still has three games to play before he's not a rookie anymore. And so he's got a lot of stuff that he's got to learn uh, from a uh, schematic standpoint and from a technique standpoint. So that way his world can just become about offense and understanding what they're trying to do with regards to run game, pass game, and, and uh, coverage responsibility. Is it true his locker's next to Sherman's? No, I don't know. I, uh, I, don't, 
I think the last time I was in there was the last game of the year last year. So. <laughs> Richard Sherman has been very complimentary of Akella Witherspoon. Can you talk a little bit about his growth from the beginning till now? Uh, Akella, um, you know, when he got here, he was this little scrawny uh, corner and that, that everyone said wouldn't hit anybody. And uh, he's turned into a man. Uh, if you look at him, he just looks, uh, uh, he, he has great presence out on the football field. Uh, he's a grown man. He'll hit people. Um, couldn't be more pleased, but same thing. He's got three games to go before he's not a rookie anymore, and he's got a lot of stuff to learn. So it's, it's going to be a constant theme. There's a lot of uh, young, uh, young players on our team that have a lot of potential, but potential doesn't mean anything unless you act on it. And uh, that goes with being deliberate in everything that they do. And the great thing is, is that he's got the mindset. Um, to approach every rep, whether it's walk through practice, individual, it doesn't matter. He's he's working because he's he's trying to get to a place and a place of greatness, and I, he's got a mindset that I don't think it's. I wouldn't bet against him.